When ChatGPT was first unveiled in late 2022, it quickly gained attention for its potential to revolutionize how we learn, write, and work. As an example of a large language model, ChatGPT is one of the many AI tools that have flooded the market, each claiming to make life easier for students. But while these tools are designed to be convenient, there's an important side of AI that often goes unnoticed, and it's crucial that you understand it. In this video, we'll focus specifically on LLMs like ChatGPT to help you grasp how it works and, more importantly, the potential pitfalls of using AI in academic settings. While these tools can be powerful, they come with significant limitations that can impact your learning if not used thoughtfully. Our goal today is not just to explain how LLMs like ChatGPT function, but to help you recognize the risks and challenges involved in relying on AI tools for your academic work. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the limitations of these tools so that you can use them wisely and effectively. We'll begin by exploring what LLMs are and how they work, then move on to discuss their potential problems and limitations, such as AI hallucinations. We'll also examine the ethical considerations surrounding AI tools. Finally, we'll discuss how their misuse can hinder your development of crucial skills, such as critical thinking, which are essential for your success in college. At their core, large language models like ChatGPT are sophisticated AI systems that generate text by predicting the next word or phrase based on patterns learned from vast amounts of text data such as books, articles, and websites. When you ask an LLM a question, it doesn't know the answer like a human would. Instead, it generates a response by predicting the most likely sequence of words based on patterns in its training data. This prediction-based design has some important implications. LLMs don't have fixed knowledge or beliefs. They don't understand information the way humans do. Their responses are driven by patterns, not by reasoning or comprehension. They generate answers based on statistical patterns. Instead of providing answers grounded in knowledge, LLMs are built to predict what comes next based on probability. They don't have true comprehension. LLMs don't actually understand what they're saying. They simply predict what text sequence is most likely to follow based on prior examples. This design explains both the impressive capabilities and the significant limitations of these tools, particularly in academic contexts where deep understanding and critical thinking are essential. Additionally, while we understand the basic mechanics of how LLMs work, the decision-making process behind their responses can often be difficult to reveal. This is known as the black box problem, where the patterns that guide their output are hidden from the user and raises serious concerns about accuracy, fairness, and reliability, especially when it comes to academic work. One of the most significant limitations of LLMs is something experts call AI hallucination when an AI generates information that sounds plausible, but is actually fabricated. This happens when the model detects patterns that don't exist or produces content that doesn't really match reality, such as creating fake citations or references. Unlike a search engine, which retrieves links, the LLM simply generates text that appears like a valid source, but actually isn't. In academic research, Hallucinations pose serious risks. AI systems often fabricate citations, misquote sources, or invent research findings, threatening the integrity of your work. What makes hallucinations especially dangerous is that they can seem completely credible and are often hard to spot without a deep understanding of the subject matter. ChatGPT has even fooled experts with their hallucinations and caused them much embarrassment. Stanford professor Jeff Hancock, who studies how people use deception with technology, used ChatGPT to write a court testimony. But he didn't realize that it included fake citations, a common problem known as AI hallucinations. When the court discovered the made-up sources, the judge dismissed Hancock's testimony and said it hurt his credibility. 
The judge even noted the irony. Professor Hancock, a credentialed expert on the dangers of AI and misinformation, has fallen victim to the siren call of relying too heavily on AI, in a case that revolves around the dangers of AI no less. This real-life example underscores just how easily AI hallucinations can slip by unnoticed, which raises an important question. Imagine trusting ChatGPT to write your research paper, only to fail because it invented a source. The risks of AI hallucination are very real, and they can undermine your academic integrity. With AI tools becoming more common in research and writing, it's important to think carefully about ethics. You should always be honest about when and how you've used AI, just like citing any other source. It's also your job to double-check AI-generated content, since it can sometimes produce false or misleading information. In the end, only humans can take full responsibility for academic work, and that includes using AI tools responsibly. Another key issue is copyright and ownership. Many AI tools are trained on existing creative work, like writing or images, often without the original creator's permission. This raises serious ethical concerns, especially when companies profit from content that wasn't theirs to begin with. So whenever you're using AI to write, research, or create, always think about the impact and stay informed about the rules. A recent example of AI ethics in art involved OpenAI's Studio Ghibli-style image filter. It became controversial after people used it to change real photos, like one of a meeting between Presidents Trump and Zelensky, into images that looked like the scenes from a Ghibli movie. While the results were visually impressive, the deeper issue is that the AI copied a unique artistic style without the creator's permission. This raises an important question. When does using an art style become a violation of someone's cultural or intellectual identity? Design and animation expert Deborah Zapiro has criticized OpenAI's use of Hayao Miyazaki's style, calling it exploitation, not imitation. It's not replicating or mimicking it. It's stealing it, she said. Sapiro explained that while AI can copy the look of Miyazaki's art, it often misses the emotional depth and human creativity behind it. They don't understand art, they understand profit, so it can't possibly capture the soul of Miyazaki's artwork, she added. How can you be sure when an AI tool is infringing on someone's copyright or plagiarizing their work? This is part of the growing awareness we must cultivate as we navigate the ethical challenges posed by AI tools. Understanding these ethical considerations will help you make responsible choices and ensure that your work maintains integrity. Overusing AI tools like ChatGPT can weaken your critical thinking skills, which are important for success in school and in life. Research shows that when students depend too much on AI, they stop thinking for themselves. This is called cognitive offloading. It means that you let technology do the thinking instead of analyzing problems on your own. As a result, you may struggle to understand difficult ideas, build logical arguments, or question assumptions. Skills that are necessary for higher level academic work and in your professional life. Misusing AI can also make your work less original and less thoughtful. Studies have found that AI-generated writing often lacks creativity and deep understanding because it skips the thinking process. Many professors can now recognize AI-written work using detection tools and their own experience. For instance, they may notice that the writing sounds too perfect or lacks a personal voice. Even if the grammar is good, an essay written with too much help from AI may not show clear thinking or strong arguments. Relying on AI is like using a calculator before learning basic math. Tools that write essays or solve equations for you skip the mental heavy lifting. Studies show students who overuse AI score lower in creativity and problem solving. Your brain is a muscle. If you stop using it, you'll pay the price. 
AI tools like ChatGPT can be valuable for certain tasks, but it's important to understand their limitations, especially in academic settings. Over-relying on AI or ignoring the ethical concerns can limit your growth in key areas such as critical thinking, creativity, and problem solving. True learning comes from actively engaging with course materials, questioning ideas, and developing your own insights, not from taking shortcuts. It's also essential to follow your professor's AI guidelines, as these policies are designed to support your learning goals. By using AI responsibly, you can enhance your academic performance while maintaining the integrity and depth of your learning.